upsets against Adamson last season, and they're looking to do it again today. The Lady Eagles are going to give everything they have to get this set in the bag. Now, being the libero, Stephanie Gabrielle was reminded that her different uniform came with greater powers. Now, you can add that to your list of cliches, boom. Coach reminded her that she shouldn't have too many errors, and out of the six Lady Eagles on the court, she should be the noisiest, boom. Thank you very much, Ricky Flores. Stephanie Gabrielle, of course, the libero. For Ateneo, a long time libero already of Ateneo. Another error for them, giving Adamson a four point lead. Ay. Girls, mag-isip kayo. Nagahabul tayo sa set, nagahabul tayo sa score. So, anong gagawin natin? Si Benting na control natin. Wala naman problema kay Benting. Sabi ko, ang problema natin yung ginagalaw natin just dito sa labas. Eh. Okay? Kung hindi kayo makakarisip, kanina pa tayo, kanina pa ako sabi ng sabi mula pa ito, lumisip kayo. Jem, kapag ka hindi na gumagana doon, magtakbo ka rito may play, may sa sky, bigay mo doon sa sais. Pag mong ipilit doon sa open kung nahihirapan, ha? Guys, para gana tayo. Starting with a big sigh of frustration. Ang lalim nun sobra, eh, no? Well, he feels like this... They... They're there. They're just there. It's just that they can't go get over the hump. And right now, the lead again is four. It could be very frustrating for Coach Roger because he knows basically what the Lady Eagles are they're capable good. of. On. They're able to control Benting a bit. That's what they're saying. And that's a four set, the four touch error. Now the lead is five. You know, this was the difference earlier in, in set number three, Ivy. Masyado nilang pinalaki yung lamang na nahirapan na humabol itong uh, Ateneo. Ang lamang ay lima. And they go to Bale, the running attack. And Benting shoving away Castillo, wanting to re-engage. Kainlet. Nobody there for coverage. Let's go to Maan Panganiba. Falcons know what they need to do exactly to close this out in just four sets. And team captain Jelle Binting told her teammates to provide more attack coverage. Guys, say na block na tayo. Kailangan anticipate natin ang bola at babalik sa atin to. And before their last game for this year, 2009, that's gonna be on Sunday. Well, these ladies will be having their Christmas party on Friday. Well, they're kind of excited about this. And these girls will be enjoying Christmas vacation since coach decided not to have practice during the break. They will resume practice on January 3. Para daw manabik sa bola ang mga bata. But boom, this is top secret, okay? So the girls don't know this yet. It will be Mommy Dose's Christmas gift for them. Nobody watches us anyway. Yeah. So it's, it's nobody it's gonna the find whole, out. the whole Philippines yeah. except for this uh, whole team here inside. Filipino channel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you did it, not us. So it's all on you, man. And Merry Christmas uh, to everybody, of course, watching. All right, now. It is 14 serving 9. Adamson looking to close it out here. What about Pau Soriano in this set, Ivy? She has come up with three nasty attacks. Cara Acevedo finding an open spot there, but Pau Soriano, a different girl here in the fourth set. Yes, the aggressiveness in Pau yeah. Soriano is different here in, in the set. Basically, she, she wants to kill the ball. Uh-huh. Estilo, sent back by Pahe. They go back to Jill, through the block. Ferrer opens up, back set to Kara. And again, Gata is there. Who else? Top shot. And Ferrer goes to the corner, but Soriano was there. Wrong set again, but a bad reception by Ferrer. Pahe was ready to take that, but Pinago ni Ferrer. Sometimes that's what happens. Right, that's where the importance of saying mine, you know, screaming out it's mine. If you're really in position, if you really want to get the ball. Sometimes it can be that simple. Patilano, the best setter so far by the average, of course. We're talking about averages. And the error. Para Acevedo. Go to Zapanta. Sent back. And four touches, apparently, says the referee. The lead 
is down to three. 12 serving 15. Acevedo. Outside. Three point. Something you don't want to give. Timeout is called. No, actually, it's a technical timeout. We'll be back. Ateneo's down by four here in the fourth set. Down two sets to one also. Adamson has had its nose ahead almost throughout this game. And they continue to do so. Ateneo continues to play catch-up. Feller. The Pahe, no coverage there. Too slow at least. As far as that. Gretchen Hall, serving. 13 serving, 16. Again! Yana once again, she loves that setup. And she has really developed that eye contact with Patilano. That is the fourth time. Look at that, and her fingers just almost clipping the net. Now, Bawi Kaga did that wrist action of hers. That's too, too low for Pahe. Ahead by five, Coach Roger calls a timeout and probably asks Z to come back in too. Ano tayo may irapa niya. Miss di bali ng ano? Basa ibabawa niya lang yung bola. Pag pag not over kasi pinalo niyo. Hindi kunin man natin di wala na importantes din. Kailangan natin magbus ng confidence. Ay papa ano? Hindi yung mga ganyang ginagawa niyo makakabus ng confidence niyo. La mga kalaban niyo eh. Kailangan yun magharap ng isang bigay mo na sa akin. Ako bahala. Yung ganon ba hindi yung Ay, nako, nako, just not over na naman. Eh, tinatakay history. Ivy, your thoughts on that time? Well, Coach Roger now teaching attitude. Uh -huh. Definitely. But this is what we're, I mean, we've talked about it already previously. Yeah. Right? There are the players that who's there who are really asking for the ball. And it's sometimes, uh, it's not just merely your aggressiveness that I want it. But, of course, if you want it, you have to yeah. kill it. Bea is checked. Adams reading this Ateneo offense really well. Benting. Gabriel is there. They open up Z against two blockers. It's a check ball. You know what I... And I'll say this about Ateneo. That I haven't seen in the last two years since Chara Soriano departed. They don't have yet the established leader who pulls the team together. Like what Marcus did for FDU. You know what Binting does for Adamson, what Alarca uh, does for, for LaSalle. I don't see that yet for Ateneo. Nobody, I mean, you have people, as you see, Chad are right. there on the screens. You have Bea and sometimes, you know, Ferrer contributing. But one leader to consolidate the team. You can't just make a yeah, leader, obviously, you know? yes. So, there are some people who are really just born to yes, be a leader. Yes. See, I'm able to recover. Who will grow into that role, Kayano? It's very, very crucial. You know, because you're playing a team sport, and yes. definitely, when you're, once you're inside the court, all the players are all alone. Yeah. You don't have a coach to lead you there or to guide you there what to do.